Good morning and welcome to the International Space Station Flight Control Room. You're looking at the a team of flight controllers uh, monitoring systems aboard the station in excellent shape as uh, it orbits the Earth every 92 minutes. The team on console today once again being led by veteran flight director Ed Van Sice. Uh, he is joined uh, to his right by Christy Bertels. She's handling the uh, direct communication link between the team here in Mission Control Houston and the, the uh, crew members aboard the International Space Station that make up the Expedition 38 crew. You see those six crew members uh, that uh, make up this crew. The three on the uh, left side of the crew emblem are uh, from the far left, Mikhail Turin, a Russian cosmonaut. He served as the Soyuz commander for TMA-11 uh, spacecraft that launched uh, this past, uh, about a week ago. Now they arrived at the station on Thursday, November 7th. Uh, seated there next to him is uh, Koichi Wakata representing the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. He'll transition and be the first Japanese uh, astronaut to serve as a commander aboard the station of Expedition 39 uh, next March. Uh, the tallest member of the crew on board, Rick Mastracchio uh, from Connecticut. Um, he uh, is on his uh, fourth flight into space. Again, those three have now are enjoying their eighth day in space and aboard the International Space Station now. The other three crew members on the right side of the uh, crew's logo are uh, continuing from left to right, Sergei Ryazansky. Uh, he's a Russian cosmonaut on his first voyage into space, the 211th individual aboard the station as he crossed the threshold right behind Mike Hopkins you see on the far right. He uh, was the 210th individual on his first flight into space. And seated is Oleg Kotov, the commander of Expedition 38, a veteran of uh, three flights now aboard the International Space Station, uh, three different expeditions that he's crossed, uh, part of Expedition 37 and now Expedition 38. These uh, six crew members woke up about midnight uh, central time, and as usual, uh, shortly after uh, their uh, wake up, the crews uh, conduct their morning uh, duties uh, as usual, and then uh, gather together for a daily planning conference with the flight control teams around the world. That uh, occurred about 1.30 this morning, and then they uh, split off in different directions to conduct a number of different uh, scientific investigations throughout the day aboard the orbiting complex. One of the primary tasks uh, for the day for uh, flight engineer number three, Michael Hopkins, uh, was to begin a, an extensive preparation for a, uh, an experiment known as the Select Selectable Optics Diagnostic Instrument, or SODI. Uh, that uh, the experiment samples for that will be coming up on the uh, next progress vehicle uh, that will be launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. That uh, 53P progress is scheduled to launch on uh, the 25th of November, um, delivering new supplies, experiments, and hardware to the crew aboard the International Space Station. Other crew members uh, uh, taking part in um, some visual acuity testing, continuing with that activity um, throughout the day. Uh, crew members, the newest three, also uh, conducting some familiarization training on board with some of the emergency equipment in the event that there was an emergency on board, uh, very similar to, to uh, the conduct of fire drills that we go through uh, here on the ground periodically. They'll have an afternoon uh, daily planning conference as well, and um, uh, before they head off to bed, the crew uh, sleep time as usual about 3.30 uh, in the afternoon. So a busy day for the Expedition 38 crew being monitored from uh, flight control teams all around the world uh, as they uh, head through what is the 50th day on orbit for three of the crew members and the eighth day on orbit for the other three.